Hey guys, Mr. T here, just doing a quick video on des the decimal number system and the idea of place value. So the decimal number system, or otherwise known as the base 10 number system, is the standard system for writing numbers that we use around the world. Uh, we call it base 10 because numbers are written using combinations of 10 possible digits. So hopefully you're familiar with counting. This sort of relies on you understanding what count, um, how to count in order. So the 10 possible digits are 0, the next one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And that has been read and has been written left to right in increasing order of size. So these symbols that we call numbers increase in size as we count from 0 to 9, but you can see there's a problem. Um, if we have more than nine things, we're going to need to be able to count larger than nine. And so to do that, we can't just use these ten uh, symbols, these ten numbers. We need another way of writing numbers that are larger than nine. So what we do is use multiple digits and put them in different positions known as place values. So now we talk about the idea of place values. As we count from 0 to 9, we're only using the one digit to represent all those um, nine single things that we're representing. It could be sheep, it could be counters, fruit, it could be anything. But with those symbols, by themselves, we can only represent from 0 to 9 single things. So if we write a single digit, we say it is in the place value of ones or units as we can count from 0 to 9 things with that one digit. So for example, the digit 7 is by itself, so it must be in the units. It must be in the units or ones place, so I'll put ones in brackets here if you prefer one. It could represent, I don't know, it's like I can't show you fruit, so I could do dots instead. So that 7 could represent 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven dots. And that's all fine because I've only got seven of those things and I've got a symbol um, between zero and nine to represent that. But as we count beyond nine, we need to write more digits in other place values. Those extra digits are written to the left. So as we grow um, beyond 9, we have to write more digits to the left of the first one. A digit in the next place to the left is always worth 10, or is 10 times bigger, than that same exact digit that's to its right. This gives us a way to count further than 9. So, as an example, I want a number to represent 10 things. 10 is just one more than 9. All right? There's no special symbol to represent 10 with one sort of symbol, so we are going to be using this idea of place value using the combination of um, symbol 0 to 9 to represent 10 things. How would that be written? So I'm going to start off by counting from 1 to 9, and then I'll show you how we increase our ability to count by writing more digits. So this Single digit here is 1, represents 1 thing, 2, 2 things, 3, 3 things, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, we've just discussed that a symbol to the left of the numbers that, that we've initially written are 10 times bigger. Okay, so if I was just to write a 1 there, that's one unit, that's one of something, and that's not what we're after, okay? Because we want 10 things. So if I was to put another digit here, that would now be in the ones column, okay? I have zero ones, and so you might think that that's a bad thing because I want to represent 10 things. Yeah, that's true, but we now have a one that's to the left of the zero, and that one is 10 times bigger 
than a 1 in this um, place here where the 0 is. And if I've got 10 lots of, or 10 ones, that's exactly what I want to represent with 10 things, okay? The place values grow out to the left of the digit in the ones place, so you can see that um, we went from 9 here, we've got an extra number to the left of it in uh, here, all right? The place values grow out to the left of the digit in the ones place value. Each place value is 10 times bigger than the place value on its right. And then we have specific names for the place values. There's no way to work these out. You just have to remember them. So you always start, if you've only got one digit, you're starting in the one or unit, ones or units column. And whenever you add digits, they're added to the left side of the last digit you wrote. So this column is going to be the tens. That would involve two digits. This column would be the hundreds column or place value. And that would involve three digits. Number here involving four digits. That would be in the thousands place value. Ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions. It keeps growing. Okay, I've only written to the ten millions here. A number representing ten million things would actually have eight digits involved in writing it. So let's do a couple of examples of trying to understand the place values. So here we've got the number 23. How many digits does it have? It's got two digits, two and three. So because the digits grow out to the left of the first one, and you start here, the rightmost digit is 3. And then the left digit is 2. That's in the tens column. So it has two digits. So it has digits in the tens and units, place values. And what does this represent? Well, we know that the ones place value represents single things. So I've got three single dots, okay? Now we've got a two on the left of that. That doesn't just represent two things because we've already said that each column to the left represents 10 lots of that same digit in the previous column. So if I had two in the ones column, yes, it would only represent two of these dots. But because it's in the tens column, it's representing 10 lots of that. So I've got two lots of the two, three lots of the two, four lots of the two, five lots of the two, six lots of the two, seven lots of the two, eight lots of the two, nine lots of the two, and 10 lots of the two. All right, and if we count those as single things, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We have 23 things, which is what the number is, but we've illustrated how the 2 in the tens column here actually represents 10 lots of 2 in the ones column. So that's 23. Lastly, consider the number 1, 2, 5, 4. What number is in the units or ones place value? Well, the rightmost number is 4. The other place values grow to the left of the rightmost number. So the number in the units or ones place value must be 4. What number is in the tens place value? So you can always consider... Looking at this table here, I've got one digit, I've got two digits, so the second digit across is in the tens column, so the number in the tens place value is five. What number is in the hundreds place value? Well, the third way, um, the third place across, so that would be two. 
what number is in the ten thousand in the thousands place value? Well, the thousands is the fourth digit across, so that's one. Okay. Now, obviously, if I've got thousands, hundreds, tens of something, I can't really draw the dots to that. But we could discuss how the four in the ones or units column represents four things. Two, three, four things. What number is in the tens place value? Five. Five. So that would represent... Five, based on the digit, but ten lots of that. Ten lots of that set of five, which would be fifty. What number is in the hundreds place value? Well, there's two. Okay. Two things, but there's a hundred lots. Of those things so that'll be 200 so this would be 50 things this is four things this is 200 things and then lastly this you've got one the digit one in the thousands place but that's 1,000 lots of the digit in the ones or units place which is is 10 times bigger than the um, digit in the hundreds place. So that would be 1,000. Alright. Hopefully that video helps you out. And I'll see you in the next one.